welcome to our video and audio Advent calendar for 2020, which is based on From Cover to Cover, an Advent devotional produced by guidelines.org. The story of Christmas does not begin with Mary and Joseph in Israel, and it does not end a few chapters later when Jesus begins his public ministry. Christmas, the coming of a promised saviour into the world, is a story littered throughout the Bible with implications that extend even to us today. Over the next 25 days, we will discover the Christmas story from one end of the Bible to the other. Christmas comes. And so in our readings in the Bible, we hear how finally the day came when the one God promised finally arrived to take away the sins of the world, defeat Satan and restore our relationship with God. Years of longing had finally come to an end. This is the Advent reading for Thursday, the 10th of December. And the Bible reading is from Matthew chapter 1 verses 20, 21 and 24. While he was thinking about this, that's Joseph, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, descendant of David, do not be afraid to take Mary to be your wife, for it is by the Holy Spirit that she has conceived. She will have a son and you will name him Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. So when Joseph woke up, he married Mary, as the angel of the Lord had told him to. The Messiah wasn't supposed to come like this. Joseph was proud to be in the lineage of King David. He knew that another great king was coming from his family line, but he wasn't supposed to come like this. Joseph didn't think that his fiance would become pregnant before their wedding and that he would have to raise the son. Even more so, he didn't think that this controversial pre pregnancy could possibly be the long-awaited promised one that his family and his nation were waiting for. The new king of Israel was about to be born into poverty to an unmarried couple. Could this be right? Despite his doubts, Joseph believed the angel sent by God and devoted himself to obedience. Instead of running from a hard situation that wasn't in his own plans, he trusted God and he trusted God's promises. Joseph held his baby Jesus that Christmas morning and knew that God's wisdom was greater than his own. After all, this baby would save them from their sin. And something to think about. How can we and how do we respond to God in the midst of confusing and hard times? Lord Jesus, today we ask that you help us each to believe in you. Even when the situations we are in and the circumstances that we are facing are hard. Help us to know that we can trust you and help us to listen to your voice of peace in each of those situations and circumstances. Amen.